just doing my radio station. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hello, love. Can you hear me? I can hear you. What's up, man? <laughs> wow, look. We both brought our hat game today. It's hat day. It's when It is. <laughs> I could also do it with well, a book out. I'm very versatile. <laughs> Wow! Well, great! <laughs> what a great barnet of hair. See this? I'm hiding. I'm hiding the hair right now. Looks sick, dude. What are you kidding me? Um, I was I was doing yoga <laughs> just now. Oh, really? I'm trying to keep keep it tight, you know. <laughs> Don't want to get too too out of it. <laughs> I've I've always I've always been so tempted, but I just it's good. I shit. just I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if I could pull it off. I'm not sure. Like, I'm, I'm not naturally, I'm not naturally limber, you know, like I'm a good runner. I was neither. It made me more limber. I, and, and I like shit that you could do. I, I need to be like in the hotel room until lobby call. <laughs> I can't yeah. be around outside. I hate that shit. I need to be all like ready to go. So I Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so much for, for, giving, for giving me some of your time. And it's lovely to kind of Hi, virtually you. meet you. No, I mean, I've been wanting to meet you. I was actually amazed that I, because, you know, I already did, and I saw that you were following me, and I was like, oh, shit, how cool is that? <laughs> I, was like, I was very honored. So I was like, thanks. wow. Thanks for having Well, me. I have to say, I think the first time I, I ever heard your voice, which, by the way, I think is incredible. I've always thought it was, like, very, very unique, a vibrato in which I am very envious of. Really? Um, uh, yeah, I was I was in Starbucks in like <laughs> New York in the Cosmopolitan Hotel, and this was this was like a few years ago, and it's I, it was literally just before Lost on You, like really blew up, oh, and it must have been like it, again. I, I just remember hearing, it and I was like. I was like, what, who the fuck is this? Like, what, what is this? The sound was fantastic. And I was like, I was like, wow, that's, that's a big chorus. Like, that's a really great chorus. Cool. And I shazammed it. I actually shazammed the fucking song. Yeah. I like when I, what, have you been, I'm sure you've been into Shazam, they, you know, to like meet them and all that shit, you know. I like, I found myself gushing when I went in there. I was like, this is the invention. Like, it's the, one of the biggest things that like, the greatest thing that's happened to music, I think, because it has nothing. It's like it's very, it's nice and personal, and you get so many fans from people that would kind of rather die than ask somebody what this song is. <laughs> you know what I mean? They'd rather just forget the song ever existed than go like, "Hey, what's this song?" <laughs> so they could just be Absolutely. like, "Absolutely, I'm cool. I know this song. I think it's funny. yeah, yeah, yeah." Such a, it was amazing. good as well. I remember I had like a good playlist of like because you could you could Shazam stuff and then it would you could take it to a playlist on Spotify. And I had like all of these kind of like, it was like my new music, like discovery thing. And like, I've said this before, but I don't know if you agree, but those moments when you hear a track and you discover a song that, that like really hits you, like, like, again, like your track, it was like, it was a little piece of like my world that I never knew I, I, I was missing until <laughs> like I heard it, you know, and I'm always like, always on the, the lookout for great new music. Yeah. Yeah, man. Hey, did you guys, were you about to go on tour? I don't know what your schedule was, or did you just go? Oh, God. What Who wasn't? Who no, wasn't the go? <laughs> um, yeah. I was, we were meant to be doing like a, like a run, uh, quite a big one, like seven kind of, like, actually, I'm not sure if I can actually say, because some of it is kind of still pending. Yeah. Um, and there was there was a lot of stuff which is kind of like still up in the air, yeah. but this time at the moment, it's actually been really good for just getting actually really creative. This is, I mean, some people have been laughing about this, but you know, yeah, it's been a bitch, like not being able to go out and, and, and kind of do the normal stuff. But yeah. like, I've been on the road for like five years, like nonstop. And this is the most amount of time. Like, I mean, what about you, you know? <laughs> Me too. This, I, actually, I was getting this um, since uh, I got back. I got back um, like early December. And since then, I've been off 
So I, it's like the first time I've had three months off consecutively. And it was really, um, I love you too. <laughs> and uh, and uh, I was like, you know, I was, I was ready to go back, you know, but like, I would imagine like, it would be nice if I had been out for three months before this, I would have been like, oh, okay. I mean, you know, so I was, I'm a little, I was a little antsy to leave, but listen, that is the least of our problems right now, <laughs> you know? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, I mean, I get, I'm, I was reading a lot about New York today and I was like, oh God, cause I'm from there, you know? And I um, yeah. can't believe like, yeah, I mean, it's fucking out there right now. So, it's horrific. Yeah. Where are you? I don't know where you are. I I'm in LA. Where are you? Are you in New York? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm in LA. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, we're both in LA then. Yeah, yeah I'm a Valley cat. You're in the Valley? Oh, right. On. We should, like, as soon as, um, you know, we're allowed to, like, I don't know, like, not mingle, but as soon as, like, we both in quarantine for long enough that we're, like, you know, we should just get together and do something. Don't tell me. That. We should. <laughs> I think we should get together. I think we should play each other some tracks, like new stuff. I mean, like, I'm sure you're cooking up a lot of, like, new things, and I'd love to hear them. Yeah, I'd love to play them for you and, and hear yours as well. I, I, I was about to um, um, release a new track in April, like a new single, and uh, I might push it back, like, a month or so, but, like, I have a new record um, coming in September. So I was, you know, the one thing I'm, I'm, I'm getting to, like, kind of, really like do my shit like um uh I, i'm getting more time to do it because i was gonna have to do it from the road you know i mean i've done a lot most of it's done and i was getting i was like rushing to get all these all the vocals pretty set before i leave just so i don't have to like do it that on the road because it's such a pain in the ass to like have to be like mm -hmm. on your day off between four shows be like let's do a bunch of vocals <laughs> yes. yeah yeah i mean i mean here i mean that's a good question i'm because everyone's everyone's very different i i personally go through phases where i can't write on the road whatsoever like you know i could have two or three days off in a row which never really happens but <laughs> does it happen? uh, no i don't think it ever does unless you're like aerosmith or the stones you've got to go from one stadium to the next but you know, I've gone through months and months and months of not being able to write on the road. Are you one of those people who can just sort of like, just pick up the guitar after the show and just start working on something else? I can, but I don't, you know, I'm like, uh, I tend to, I, I, but I can do days off. Like I can't get a studio on a day off and go, I've done that. I've written a lot of songs that are on my records, like on that. I kind of got very, cause when I, I don't know if you know, um, any much of my story but like I kind of was almost just a songwriter after in between mm. the record deals like I thought I was just gonna write songs only and then uh um not with Lost in You but the record before that like I had some stuff like Into the Wild uh it got me back into the system again as an artist but I you know when you're a songwriter when I was a songwriter for like almost two years only I it was very like gun to your head songwriting it's like nobody mm. You're inspired. Nobody cares if you have a day. <laughs> it's just like give me a song. Fuck you, you know. So um, I got used to being in that uninspired place and writing. So mm. just I just force it. I don't. I write through. You know, like I just kind of try to write through the through the whole block if there's a block. You know. So yeah. I'm used to it. I they do happen. It. Yeah, but I think like you can you can um. You can freak the fuck out about it and be like, you know, I feel like if you talk about it, then you're fucked. You know, you need to like, just be like, no, nope. true. It's, not happening. it's just, it's not there. It's like, yeah. you know, if, if you acknowledge it, then it becomes real. Yeah. But like, I like just pretend that like, like how it used to be like, it'd be like, you know, I don't really give a fuck if you're having writer's block. They like need a song. And then, and then sometimes I think, I think what the thing is for me, I just get, unattached to the outcome of the song like i try not to judge a song while it's happening i try even if it's going great you know like the last thing mm. you can say is like wow this thing is great <laughs> it's gonna get synced a hundred times it'll never <laughs> yeah right that's the, that's the word that just like kills it every time like when someone's when everyone just goes around and goes "Woo, yeah. smash <laughs> you know you might as well just yeah take that fucking song and just smash a window with it and put it to roadside <laughs> records like you know outside because you're just like you're just jinxing it straight away you know things that are like effortless and yeah. non-calculated uh, tend to always be the, the things that 
not only sound the most natural, but then the audience seemed to connect with, in my experience anyway, you think about it too much, you start sucking your own cock about it too much. It's just like, you're just, you're just writing it off. To bring crudeness into it, I say to motherfuckers, I'm like, yeah, you talk like this during sex, or you, like, you tell people what you're going to do, like, that's the <laughs> I'm like, shut the fuck up, man. I'm like, I don't want to hear what you're going to do to me or whatever the fuck, just do it, do it, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You know, so. so I'm like curious because you've, you know, like you said, you, you were quite, you, you were in the, the songwriter um, kind of like campus camp of like, you know, what we're living in this music industry, whatever you want to call it. You know, and I was looking around and like, there's some pretty like big fucking names, man. Like I was like, <laughs> is there, was there anyone in particular that sort of like, you, I mean, look, I've met some of my, my biggest heroes and it's no, it's no secret that, you know, when I saw the Stones, like I cried mm. when I saw Brian Wilson, like I cried, um, <laughs> mm. you know, I'm not saying, did you cry, but was there, is, is there anyone that you've either worked with or you've met that you've, you've kind of just been like, you just been haven't been able to kind of like act cool around whatsoever i didn't meet him but um but joe walsh like left a long message on my answering machine like cause <laughs> he did one of my fucking songs and his uh he his assistant was like friends with a friend of mine or something like that and he didn't know that i wrote that i was the person that did into the wild but like he he was doing one of my songs one of my songs is on analog man that he has and right. random and and the, the more random part is i wrote it with um I wrote it with uh, Tim uh, from Rancid, uh, the guy from Rancid, um, Tim Armstrong, is it? Mm -hmm. And uh, so it's very weird. I wrote a song with Tim Armstrong for me <laughs> that wound up on Joe Walsh's record. And it was just very strange. <laughs> he left me a message. And I don't know, I just think he's so dope. You know, like he's such a rocker. And uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I thought that was really wild. I thought that was fucking cool as hell because he's just so sick, such a sick guitar player. And like, I, you know, I love his shit with the Eagles, but then I also love his solo shit, you know? And I just, yeah. thought, I thought it was funny that I had like, you know, went from Rihanna to like Joe Walsh. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a, bit, of a, G, a, bit, of, a bit, of a bit of a jump right there, like straight away. That's like, the, but that's me in a nutshell. I'm not, I'm, you know, and you know, that's a, on this next record, I feel like that's what I, I didn't go for it to be honest, but like for some reason it seems like I I like kind of I'm just like really into trying to be not I don't I don't think about genre and I don't wanna think about it, you know. It's like and, and I love you know, I love they're not I love that genres are getting so blurred now. You know? Mm. And uh and it's cool and I think it makes me free and like and like when I was a songwriter, I feel like that's what brought me back to myself because I was like, listen, I gotta fucking I gotta try to do all different genres, otherwise I'm gonna go broke, you know? Like, so I was very, it made me really concentrate on like not, uh, you know, trying to just write a good song, so try to write for a, a style or whatever, you know? Mm. I, I always find it like extremely refreshing. I think like all of my, all of my favorite bands, you know, I mean, granted there are, especially like in, in the kind of rock legacy, there are bands that kind of just stuck to one thing and were amazing at it. But then you had groups like um, Queen and Mott the Hoople, like Bowie, um, you know, all these kind of people that, you know, I, I really look up to. And, and I love being able to, to listen through a record where, a group or an artist is jumping from like one thing to the next. So the album, I know the whole album is kind of becoming like a lost concept in itself, but it was, well, I mean, it's, it's tough for me. It's not, I don't get me wrong. I still listen through the playlists like before it's submitted and I make sure that it becomes as and listening as much as a listening experience as I possibly can make it, but I think with so much attention on the streaming sites and things like this, where you know Up the track. people in the suits, yeah, like everyone seems to be more concerned about what playlist you're going to be put on, or 
you know, where does, where does this song fit into here? Or, you know, like you said, the sinks and everything like this, it's kind of like, I, I, I'm not, I, I'm sure there aren't. And, and I'm sure like, look, if anyone out there is kind of like listening to this right now, but correct me if I'm wrong, but you know, the, the feeling I get is that some people these days just don't have the patience to kind of like sit down and listen to a record from start to finish and take it in. Like, the rec like records, like I love, like, you know, um, like that's been a real discovery for me because I didn't really collect them. You know, I, I missed that kind of thing, but I do now, you know, like I do listen to records now and I really enjoy it so much more, you know, like I, I like, I like the ceremony of it, like ending, you know, and then flipping and everything, but it's so nice to see where, uh, you know, like I, I listen to records from artists that I've known forever that I'm like, oh, I don't even know this record. I just know the big song on it or, or maybe mm. a big song on it that I never heard of. And I'm like, oh shit, I love this, you know. I, I, so I, tell, yeah, I do like that. I was going to say, tell me in terms of like your, your go-to albums, like the ones that, you know, we've all got them, the yeah. ones that, you know, they you can go like a year without listening to it, and then all of a sudden, like you just start putting it on again, and you can't stop listening to it for like another like two months. So just like the ones that you just oh, you don't want anyone else to listen to because they're fucking yours. You know what? What are your go tos? Yeah. Um, I love um, uh, well, uh, Soft Parade by The Doors. That's a big one. Um, I love yeah. Let's up and four. It's um, a great one. And uh, I love. Um, uh what's the what's the what's the queen one with the news the uh the big robot oh news of the world news of the world with the robot yeah 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 um i love that one um i don't know man uh revolver you know uh abbey road you know i i go and oh my god i mean like let it bleed and exon mainstream <laughs> like wow we got we got very similar tastes though but <laughs> i think if we were to get into a studio we would know exactly <laughs> where to go be like yes you know what we need we need like we need we need like 40 seconds in exile track number three you know <laughs> so i you know i feel like i'm you know i don't know what i'm considered as like you know pop or what genre i'm really considered but like i feel like you know if you saw a show i'm like a, i'm like a you know basic fucking rock singer <laughs> basically it's like you know but that's one of the things that like apart from like hearing your music, I didn't actually see like an image of you. And like, I was playing these festivals like years ago and everyone was like, everyone was like, there's this, there's this like rock chick, like who looks just like you. you. You could like be like twins. And I was like, who the fuck are you on about? They're like LP. And I'm like, EP, what? You know, like LP, like, and then I saw it and I was like, fuck yeah, this is the song. This, these, this is the tracks I've been listening to, you know, but I didn't, I didn't see what you look like, you know, it's that's, crazy. That's, that's my one, two punch, man. I, I like, I, I always joke around about like lost on you. I said, you know, it, I bet you a billion dollars. I mean, there's not one motherfucker who was like, <laughs> listen to that song. didn't know who it was. And was like, you know what I bet she looks like? <laughs> <You> know, like <laughs> <laughs> true let me put it together for you <laughs> and I was like that did not yeah 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 that's what I think it was like kind of like you know when they saw my my dumb face at the end of that rainbow they were like mm, okay well I think they look sick I think they look sick you know like I was I mean I, I think you got, you know, you got like, you got some iconic like tattoos going as well like is this a ship here that's a fucking ship yeah it was gonna I mean, yeah, man. All over the like, I had another button undone, but I didn't want to scare anybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, dude, yeah, end of the world. <laughs> like, like, you know, but uh, I yeah. need to get some new tattoos. I'm I'm kind of lacking in the tattoo department. It's just like I don't know about you, but once I have one, yeah. and then like yeah. I just start doing it again and again, and I just stop for ages, and then like you know, I need to get back into it again. Main main one. Are you drinking water? What am I thinking? Yeah. Like, well, I don't, I don't like tattoos that are like colored. Yeah. And because I, because I recently got like a motorcycle, I'm thinking about going yeah. full tacky, like, you know, <laughs> Do it. sexy, sexy lady 
on on a motorbike, you know, yeah. like beautiful blonde hair and you know and stuff like this with my motorbike on it, you know. <laughs> I, I like I like I, I go traditional for the most part. I like sailor tattoos. I feel like uh, very like uh, I think I think what we do is like very uh, very much like the kind of sailor mentality. The kind of just you know popping around the world and uh, um, I don't know going like you know going far from home. I have like I have two swallows on my chest too, and those are like uh, those are like the sailor tattoo of like kind of like you know going away and coming home kind of thing um and i just i just feel very uh i don't know i just i like the traditional vibe but i i'm, I'm down with uh all different kinds of tattoos and i i like you know i know i feel like they went through such a surge and then people were like kind of not doing them and, and i like either i like people that are completely untattooed <laughs> and then i like people that are like so fucking tatted up i love it i think it's such a i think it's so like ingrained in our like in our society now that it's like it, if you like it you like it if you don't you don't you know and, and people are, I, I feel like and especially for people like us as well because we're practically fucking pirates you know there you go like the pirate thing too yeah that's my next one actually i think i don't know what i'm not sure like how to do it i so it doesn't look like the fucking pirate emoji <laughs> i gotta be careful <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 well one of my one of my bad mates actually has the moon like the dark like the the the, <laughs> the dark moon imaging like on his ankle um which he's which he's called percy and like i think it's like one of tattoos one of two tattoos that he's got nice they called robert plant percy and he didn't like it apparently <laughs> oh yeah 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 but yeah man like are you reading any biography? Oh, is that who's that? You got you got a pooch. You got a pooch there. He's pissed because um, his food's not unfrozen yet. <laughs> Come here, man. Oh, wow. He's pretty cute, huh? Yeah. That's that's how this is how low it's going. Like people were starting. Are you starting to freeze dog food as well? <laughs> well, no. That's his like normal. It's like raw food. Look at this fucker. <laughs> Oh wow! What what breed is he? <laughs> he's a Brussels Griffon Terrier. He's like a wow. You ever see that old movie? It's like early two thousands or something. It's like uh, he's a. Uh, it's with Jack Nicholson, and he's this curmudgeon old man who ha who like his neighbor like gets hurt and like he has to take care of the dog, and the dog's like this weird little fucking black face. Oh, I think you're oh, breaking sorry. up a bit, love. What do I got? Oh, I got That's me. <laughs> Are we up in there? See me? Yeah, I can hear you again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that was funny today. I think I was like nervous that you thought I was a complete twat. <laughs> I was like, yo, is this only audio? <laughs> I, no, I, no, no. It's like. <laughs> I went on there and I saw that it said radio. And then the one that I listened to was just white. <laughs> I couldn't see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's two. It's like I got two things simultaneously going on, oh. and admittedly, I'm not doing it very well today. Like I'm kind of like throwing everything together. I I've had like the most strangest day ever. I really have. I like I had a face. Well, I had like an Instagram live with Mick Rock. Yeah. And yo, I know that guy. He took a bunch of pictures. <laughs> I didn't oh, he did. Yeah. I, I, it was years ago, and I haven't gotten him back because he takes it all on film. You know? <clears throat> I'll get on him. I'll be like, I'll be like, she wants her fucking pictures, mate. Like, where are they? <laughs> They're completely out of context now. Yeah, but, but yeah, he's dope. He's such so, a he's cool, man. But so, like, literally 15 minutes before I was meant to go live with him, right? I, I walk outside on a balcony. My phone's on 30% battery. <laughs> And I lock myself out of the fucking balcony. Oh no! <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, fuck! And I'm like, I'm literally got 15 minutes to go. You know, now, this has been organised for like a week or something. I'm like, I'm meant to be talking to him for like however long. I don't know. And I'm like, thinking, how much juice can like a 30% battery yeah, give like on an Instagram live feed? And it was, it wasn't very long. It was literally like <laughs> 25 minutes. And like. Oh, no. I was just so embarrassed. I was just like, fuck, 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 you know? And then, yeah. And then like, I came back. Um, and then I had, 
I got I got a random message from um, a very well known uh, UK um, uh, like a pop star um, called Robbie Williams. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and um, anyway, he just like randomly reached out to me, and we ended up talking on the phone for like forty minutes. Oh wow! Just about everything about aliens and music and <laughs> you know <laughs> and family, yeah. and he was like the most lovely beautiful person and then here i am chatting to you it's been a very a very random day <laughs> very, i think it, you know it seems very well balanced i think <laughs> robbie williams I yes think, he seems very interesting. yeah but um but yeah thank you love for like taking the time and and i, I won't take up any of your more t any, any more of your time you can get back to, I'll have to you as chilling as with your with your pooch uh, I would love to have you as my guest at one day, if you'd like. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You just let me know, like you got my details, you've got my number. You know, just shoot me over a cheeky text. You know. Yeah, it's really, it's really, um, really an honor to be here today. Thanks, man. And uh, I love. Yeah, you. man. And like you said, when when this all kind of like, when the world gets back on track, and like you know, I hope and pray that things get a lot better before it gets worse. Then. You know, let's let's hang out and you know, let's let's write some let's write some music, man. Like I'm sure I'm sure I've already I've already got messages here flying in like Strats L P collab, let's do it, you know. So let's just let's give the people what they want, love, you know? I'd love to, I'd love to write with you, I'd love to hang with you. So like hit me up, man. Got you on got you. All right, love. All right. Luke, thanks. I'll see you. All right. See you in a bit, love. Thank you so much. Bye, everybody. See ya. Bye.